Hi, I'm Hannah Brown, and welcome to Better Tomorrow. My absolute favorite thing to do is have a heart-to-heart talk with my new friends and my best friends, where we sit down and talk about all the things like relationships and love, faith, and self-care. And of course, the little things as well, like the struggle to figure out what to eat tonight. All in all, I really want to ask, how am I better today than yesterday, and bring artists, entrepreneurs, and friends along on the journey. So join me on the journey, will you? Because oh, wow. I don't smell things. Think about it, not smelling anything and then getting the strongest stench. Like, <laughs> well, I mean, that that weed like smell is very, very strong. Yeah, see, I didn't time. smell it. I don't smell mm. that. I don't smell like fresh muffins or whatever. But if there's a, I'm like, you Ooh. only smell the bad stuff? <laughs> that is smell. like the worst No, not even just, just only farts. Wow. That's the only time I ever get a strong like, <laughs> but I don't I have my taste back, which is like. Wait, so, so you, you were just eating, eating but not. <laughs> no, I'm saying like. Th- the side effects from COVID, you know, you can't taste and smell, and my smell never, never really came, came all the way back. Except for except farts. for farts, it amplified the farts. Yeah, wow. when someone passes gas, I'm just like, <laughs> gosh. <laughs> so I'm, Look, I'm putting I everybody just, on alert. If someone toots in here, I'm like, yo. Well, Dang. we just we just got back from Cancun, and, and uh, <laughs> Hannah's stomach is. Oh, been a bit <laughs> oh I have a story. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh. So we were in the Bahamas, and when we went to um, Atlantis, like you know they, that water park. Yeah they have a sign that's like cross your legs and your arms and i didn't really understand i'm like why do we have to cross our legs so the first slide we went down oh, no. i just like was like this and i'm i'm not kidding you and we got some speed i gave myself like an enema yes oh i've gosh. done that before at, a, at six flags yeah and i had to <laughs> run <laughs> oh yeah no like still not okay like my stomach still like- and it didn't even click until yesterday like someone a runner posted how they like got bad water up their butt or something and then they shit themselves on oh their run. Oh my gosh. And I was like, that is what, that's okay. totally what happened. I have yeah. not wow. been okay since we went to Cancun. Yeah. Like it's been, well you can drink Did you get water, water up your bum? <laughs> is that what happened? <laughs> that could be it. I don't yeah. We're just drinking bad water. That's probably what it was. It had to have been. But I mean, we had icy, like drinks with ice in it. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but so I'm glad this has been the first day I've been okay, actually. So and it, <laughs> let's go. It's yeah, been pretty is. bad. <laughs> this, that's amazing. We're good. We're good. Matt, your times. sniffer would have been an over. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I would have had to change outside. We had to change it at Hannah's place when we got in. I would have. I would have been out there with the dogs. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love this intro, y'all. <laughs> um, hi everyone. Welcome to Better Tomorrow, where we talk about farts. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Matt and Rachel are here, and I'm so excited. It's been a while since we've seen each other. Mm-hmm. I think the last time we saw each other was when we were both in London at the same time. Mm-hmm. Yes. That was over a year ago. I think that was in January. Oh, my gosh, year. it was. Crazy. We mm-hmm. hadn't moved to Nashville yet. Had we Had we decided, or t- did y'all know we were even moving? We even probably know. didn't even know. I don't think Nashville was a thing yet. Mm-hmm. I don't think, yeah, because it was a very quick decision to mm-hmm. even move here. But right. London's one of my favorite places Us too. ever. I mean, what I do remember about that is – us almost getting kicked out of the play. Oh yeah, for Wait, taking is that the what pictures. You were to say? Yeah. Oh my gosh, because you are. That, that was the story we were holding on to. Yeah, I was holding on to that one. <laughs> well, because somebody did get kicked out. Yeah, the people beside us. <laughs> <laughs> and what did they do? They were taking pictures. Taking pictures. Yeah, oh but we gosh. were smart and we hid the photos because like, they made know, us look mm, at our like yeah, they wanted they to see our, our phones. phones. Yeah. yeah. Back to the Future. If you're in London, you got to go check it, it was out. So it good. was so good, right? So playing, but yeah, was and really that was good. your fa- that was your first show. I'd ever. never gone to a show before. Mm-hmm. Yeah, which I think is crazy since you lived in New York. I know. It's criminal because that's one of my favorite. Things. Well, you backed out. I went and saw Funny Girl, and he was supposed to come with me. Amazing. Oh. And Why didn't I go? I don't know. You decided to like go out of town that night instead of in the morning or something. I don't know. I don't, I honestly I don't think you wanted to go. Oh yeah. But you would have time. loved it. It was so well, good. Well, did you see that The Notebook is on Broadway no, now? No, wow. I didn't. We I didn't know that. that. You've never even, he's never even seen The Notebook. You're that kidding. Film. Are you serious? I, you haven't seen it either. Yes, I have. Matt, everyone's I've seen, seen it seen so it. many times. It's so what? good. All right, well, we'll go see Broadway then. First time. No, but no, you, you need got, to see the actual movie it. first. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You gotta see it's, it. It's a classic. Yeah, no, it is a classic. I don't know why I hadn't seen it. Yeah, it's a classic. You've never seen it. I was like in high school. I wasn't like with the boys. Like, oh, we're gonna go see the notebook. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But I, know, I will but see you've it. You've been in plenty of like relationships since you were what ten when it came out. To where I'm sure a girlfriend. I mean, I've asked you plenty of times. Yeah, but when we go to the movies, we were like making out. We weren't like true. Uh, yeah, same. You know I mean? same. <laughs> 
<laughs> Matt was sneaking out of the movies to go make out in the car. You were going to go through this again? <laughs> I won't go there. That is I'll true, let, though. I'll let you tell the story. Wait, wait. Want. Tell me. What? Oh, you want the story? I want the story. Um, <clears throat> this actually came up because this is actually hilarious. So we, we just got back from the Bahamas and we ran into one of my best friend's older sisters in the Bahamas and she was in with the her- In the casino. In the casino. She's with so her ridiculous. whole family. She's got an 11 year old mm-hmm. now. Like she had a whole squad. And um, I was like, Rachel, like that's uh, Ashley O'Neill. That's like Josh's older sister. And she's like, like what's the significance? I'm like, mm-hmm. remember when we snuck out of the movies and I bit that girl's lip and we were making out? It was her? First, first. No, it was, it, was, it was It was, she was chaperoning us in the theater. So we left and we went into her car. And my buddy was like with his date, like making out with, in the front seat. And I oh. was like, I attempted to and uh, bit the girl's lip. And That's she his was first kiss, I think. Right? She was bleeding. Wow. <laughs> it was bad. So you were aggressive <laughs> starting out. I didn't know, bro. I was just like. <laughs> so he went from biting lips to kissing with his eyes open. He's still figuring it <laughs> do you, out. Yeah. Do you wow. still kiss with your eyes open? I honestly don't know. I would say yes. Do you ever sure. like just open up just to see and you're just staring at each other? No, but <laughs> but I'm sure you do. Like, I don't think you've changed it. We'll it's hard to know. change something like that. that. That's something that you do and you're like, okay, I'm, gonna, I'm probably going to stick with this. I didn't realize it was a bad <laughs> thing until like. <laughs> I watched them like, yo, that's kind of wild. <laughs> it, you, I have done it before, and accuracy and like timing, Thank it you. improves when your right. eyes are open. I'm serious, it Dude, does. That's so true. You, you can see where Thank you're you. moving, and you can plan out your next move because you know what's happening. Adam gets me. I get it. I get it. Oh, that's you. why you do it. Well, I I didn't even know I did it until I, I saw. Until it. you saw it. His, yeah. Your excuse was that you were like, I just want to make sure you're safe. In case someone behind you comes up, see, That's true. He's like, an I'm on alert. Yep. The like, thing That's are great you excuse. kissing me with your eyes open? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you got to check your surroundings. Your That's people. why I stand with my back to the wall whenever I'm in a, a crowded place. <laughs> well, you know, got to be on it. Yeah, I love it. I didn't. I did not know that you also thought this. I'm no, gonna I mean, have to like. I really want to yeah, like. Yeah, now you, we have to like record ourselves. Yeah. I want to like just open one eye and just. <laughs> and I'll be like. Wink <laughs> at you. <laughs> it's I'm it's dead. so funny. But how y'all obviously met on The Bachelor. Mm-hmm. Y'all been together now for like how long? It'll be, I think, four years since we finished filming in November. Mm-hmm. So yeah, Gosh, four years since filming. That's mm-hmm. crazy. How do you feel like your relationship has changed the most since meeting each other on that show? It's so weird. Like, I think about the Matt that I was getting to know on the show. And, like, that Matt's still in there, but so different. Like, we really didn't know each other. Like, we know each other now, obviously. Mm -hmm. You barely know the person. You like to think that you know them, but you really don't. Yeah. You know, only time can tell or just spending time together. And, yeah, he's still there. Like, you're still that, like, gentleman. You know, I feel like yeah. they paint all the bachelors in this perfect light, but there's so much more to everyone. And he's just, like, the goofiest, quirkiest, Was he not funniest. really goofy on the show? No, I feel That's like you... That's surprising. I don't know if you felt like you couldn't be or if you were, and they, like, cut it out. But I felt like the first time I saw his actual, like, goofy side was when we were, like, finally done filming at that house, mm-hmm. you know? Yeah. And like, I could just tell it was like, you just felt more relaxed or comfortable or you just were happy that it was over. I don't know, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> a little bit of both. I was just saying, it's yeah. probably a little bit of both. Yeah, but no, I, I feel like everything's changed in in a way. You, you know, know what's funny, Hannah? I, there, were, there would be things that Rachel would share with me, like in private and on the dates. And I'm like, did she do research on me? Because like these are things that I love. Like when we would talk about oh, really? Disney and like uh-huh. like she loves Marvel and like Star Wars and all the things that I like more than I do. But at the time yeah. when she's saying all these I'm, like, things, correcting him with things. Yeah, I'm like, like. She, Did you actually think that? Yes. I didn't know that. You never said I, that. Because you don't really feel like you're like, why are people going on the show? Why are they saying? Are they trying to just say these things to like impress me? Yeah. But right. You don't really know until. Mm-hmm after after yeah. if that's like actually true or are they just like saying that so that you had like mm-hmm. a connection and exactly. would get a rose yeah. yeah where would i have even found that though i don't know 
I will say this. I I really tried <laughs> not web. to right. look up anything because I didn't want to feel like I already knew you. And like no one really knew who he was yet because he wasn't on the previous yeah. season. So I just wanted to keep it like that. I think I told you that at some point. I was like already skeptical skeptical about the whole thing to begin with. Almost didn't go. Like the night before I was like, I'm not going. And my sister, my little sister was like, Rachel, if you go, he'll pick you. She mm. said that. No. Oh, wow. Yeah. She was like, I swear if you go, he'll love you. Just go. And she basically pushed me out the door. I didn't believe her, obviously. Yeah. You know, I think she was just being like a supportive little sister, but it's crazy now. Why did thinking, you sign up to do the show in the first place? My friends signed me up and didn't tell me. Yeah. So it's I had friends. three friends. Well, it was like co it was middle of co or I think they signed me up in February and the lockdown was in March. So I think COVID was just starting out and things were starting to shut down, I guess. And yeah, no one had anything better to do. We were all sitting at home. My three friends are at dinner. What? I'm just kidding. Oh. <laughs> no, no, I'm talking about my uh, friends. No, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Um, yeah, my friends were at dinner. <laughs> they loved the show. And I think they were watching Peter's season at the time and they were like, God, we got to get one of our friends on there. And most of my friends were in a relationship except for like me and maybe one or two others at the time. And they were like, we got to sign Rachel up. Like she's perfect for it, which I disagree with. I don't think I'm good for the show at all. Or like, not that you have to be a specific person, but I do feel like they look for specific people. I'm surprised they even picked me to begin with. Yeah. Um, I, I, I disagree. I think you were great for the show, but I do know what you're saying about there's certain personalities and like... Yeah, I felt like I wasn't bold enough, I guess, for the yeah. show. Not that I think I'm boring, but I don't know. Just having opinions. I honestly... Yeah. I don't think like yeah. now I would be good on the show because yeah. I don't think I'm as... Like outspoken or Outspoken. What? But yeah. I was just a weirdo, actually. I don't even think I was like <laughs> outspoken. I was well, just no, I, I think the reason why all three of you were really good for the show is because you're so genuine. And it, you're not you're not trying to like paint a picture that's not you. You're just you're just being yourself. So then yeah, sometimes yeah. there's not like maybe that's not always great for TV. Sometimes it is if you catch you on a really weird day or doing yeah. something like that can be fun. But if you're not placed in certain situations. Yeah. And I feel like if you're definitely the person that they – think you're going to be picked they mm -hmm. kind of keep you out of the drama too well that's why i don't even know what their for plan sure, for me for was sure. yeah because i don't think they mm -hmm. wanted you to pick me per se and like i don't think they even wanted me to go far like i didn't have like this compelling story or anything yeah I'm just like a normal girl with a normal life for the most yeah. part so i don't even know what their plans were for me i say that like knowing or thinking like yeah you know they have like i mean right, it's a tv show sure. yeah. and and like producers are definitely involved and i'm sure like i know matt knows this from being the lead like you <laughs> it, it can be they definitely have a lot of say more than you even think when it comes to like dates and um how to even have a conversation with somebody yeah. and how it's gonna go so mm -hmm. you're right to say like what they thought or what they yeah. were planning because mm -hmm. I definitely think that there's some planning involved that sometimes doesn't really like we kind of get bamboozled into and you're like yeah so you had this plan all along and yeah then, right, yeah it's, right. it's, it's you're, yeah. you're right for that but yeah. that's why I didn't want to do it to begin with because I was like I think I'm gonna go and they're gonna make me the villain or something I was just like telling myself the worst yeah. I'm like mm -hmm. this isn't gonna go well for me I'm gonna either be like embarrassed or made a weirdo or made a villain or something because I feel like I can be kind of weird sometimes. Yeah. And I'm like, I don't know. I just, it's nervous, like, just hopping in that environment, never having done 100%. anything like that, you know? Because there's nothing like that. Yeah. It, that's why it's so, that's why I was interested to know just, like, how it's changed or what's been surprising um, for each of you that you've, like, learned about the other since, like, actually being in the real world. Like, what was something that you thought the person was going to be like? And then once you started spending time together, you're like, oh, I've got this, like, all wrong mm -hmm. and then you've like made adjustments to make it work now i think for you i mean i think you can probably say this about every bachelor though but like he was <laughs> just put on this like pedestal as being this perfect man obviously yeah. they want you to think he's like the perfect dreamboat guy right and i mean he's pretty great and yeah he still <laughs> is but i always say like he's just like this big puppy like he's so just all over the place and like quirky and just 
you're so there's just a lot more personality to you than they showed that I just didn't know was there. Yeah. And so, you know, just getting to know him more and more. And I feel like you have you're very emotional, but you have a hard time expressing those emotions sometimes. And I think we still work through that to yeah. this day. Cause I think on the show, they're like, you gotta be vulnerable, you gotta do this, that. So he had so many like deep conversations on the show. But then after that, I felt like I never wanted to like push him or pry mm -hmm. to have these like conversations that I wanted to have. But I feel like coming off the show, you were a little more reserved than you were like on the show, probably because you felt like you had to be, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah, I mean, we're we're going through a lot of that in, th in couples therapy right now. So mm -hmm. one of the main reasons that caused us so much friction was that I didn't know how to open up. I didn't know how to like really express myself and be vulnerable. Yeah. And we found out that she can't she can't relate to someone who's putting on this like perfect face, mm -hmm. who's who's not showing their weaknesses, their vulnerabilities, yeah. their their fears. And I can only imagine being on the show, Matt, like you you have to like the cameras definitely play into that. Like you can't be your authentic self fully when you're on camera. Hannah's probably like, yeah, you can. Look at me. No. But, <laughs> but like as a man, you you kind of you have to um kind of guard yourself a little bit because you you want to um be strong for the women that you're that you're vying for. Right. Yeah. Yeah. No, I mean And they that, probably wanted you to open like not force you to open up talk about things but you know you, you yeah have to but open. as men it's it's unnatural for us yeah. to do i think because we're not taught that at a young age mm -hmm. yeah no i um that was definitely the hardest part um they would come to me constantly and just be like you got to give more like you got to open up because i feel like they could tell that i was reserved and and like you said hannah like <clears throat> there is this element of like like i have a lot of grace for my experience and for the show regardless of like what might be you know con uh, perceived by mm -hmm. people mm -hmm. um because it's, it's 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 you're put in a tough position totally and when you, when you have to produce a show that's compelling and there's elements that are keeping people um locked in and and on the edge of their seat like there's things that you have to do so like i didn't understand that at the time though so i'm frustrated like you don't but as i'm watching it back i'm like oh they're trying to pull this out of me so that i can connect with you know the audience and with people who are hearing the story so like the more i understood the more i was like at peace with how everything went but in, in mm -hmm. the moment i'm like you know fighting it because i'm like they don't have my best intentions and yeah at one point he was thinking that when the whole skydiving thing happened we were both like <laughs> matt was like did they do that on purpose? You know, yeah. they were like, they're yeah. trying to get her hurt to get her out. You know, like we were both just so in our heads yeah. about everything towards the end. You're just like, by the end, you're like, I just want this to be done. Yeah. You know, like you're over it. Totally. And I think I remember like, obviously I was like, had, I guess I was the last bachelorette before your season. Or, mm -hmm. I can't, I don't yeah, know yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. Tasha. Um, oh yeah. No, I f can't forget Tasha, but there was someone before her that I just forgot. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just saying. I just it was very quick. Okay, yeah, it was. It was, it was quick. Yeah, it was. <laughs> no, what is really funny, which I don't know if I can even say this, but you know, Matt and I were not <laughs> we're not cool. <laughs> That's very true. <laughs> For a while, uh, like just when I was bachelorette, obviously his best friend, then Tyler was on the show, and he, you would you were being. Now that I know your personality, <laughs> I get it was like you being funny, but I was like, this guy is such a jerk. I do not like him. <laughs> F Matt. Yep. You know, and then ended up we ended up living together for a few days or like almost a month. Yep. And obviously we became really close, and then you know here we are with our um with My mind Rachel is blown and I. Right now. I know it's crazy, right? <laughs> it's wild. Um, That's but. Crazy. I remember they called me about you because obviously we were hanging out. Yeah. And oh, in Jupiter. Yeah. Did you not know this? No, you didn't share this with me at Dune I think Dogs? it was like I think it was like after that maybe I can't remember all that whole time of our life when we were in Jupiter. It sometimes is like blurred out, yeah, maybe trauma. No. I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> really fun. Like we, I am oh, so we thankful so for that fun. for us. But yeah. um, 
they were asking about, you know, I was like, oh my gosh, like he'd be the perfect bachelor. But I always worried. And I now maybe from you just hindsight of like being put in that position without even ever experiencing the show. Yeah. Because it is, I think as a contestant was like my favorite part because you, you're getting all the, even though I know it's hard, like you're getting more of the, the good parts of it. Of yeah, having people, more fun, more relaxed. More fun, mm-hmm. but you're also having people kind of teach you and kind of groom you of how to be able to talk to the camera <clears throat> and slowly be vulnerable about one person. Yeah. Right? As the lead, you, you're having to have vulnerable conversations with 30 people. Mm-hmm. That's really tough. And without that almost like prep and understanding that environment, I mean, I have a lot of trauma from that show. Like I can't imagine just the world when that was for you. How have you been able to like process that all now, that experience? Like you already said, like you have grace for it, Mm -hmm. but what has that journey been like? This is actually very timely. Remember when you got on YouTube the other day? I'm on YouTube like every day. What are you talking? <laughs> and you about? saw the 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 my catalog of things that I bought. Oh, oh my gosh, yes. So before yeah. I'd never watched <clears throat> the show until Tyler went on, and yeah. I was mm-hmm. obviously watching. But my mom's she's a biggest fan. We'll get to that later. But um, I hadn't I didn't know what to expect. So I was I first of all I talked Purchased. to like so many different former bachelors, Sean Lowe. Uh, ben Higgins, um, Nick, Nick um, Wells, who wasn't a bachelor. I talked to everybody. I called hella people and no one has that opportunity because usually when you hear it, you're taken off. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. But since it was you COVID, had months, right? I had time to talk to, I talked to bachelorettes about it too. Mm-hmm. Um, but mm-hmm. I, I actually went on YouTube and I bought former seasons of there's like all these seasons of The Bachelor. No, in just his to YouTube. Like, just oh. seeing like what to like of of the one of Bachelors. I'm not gonna name names of Bachelors that I admired. Yeah, and then you know a, a season and some or, not so much. It's a season or two of like what not to do. Yeah, like but just to get an understanding of what I was getting myself into and that like that it was good, but it did, it's not gonna it prepare cover. you for Hell, no. And that's so produced. I think that also could have maybe been what was so hard because you're watching what works for somebody else but not what works yeah. for for you because you're so you are yeah. so different than ever but yeah. even editing yeah. like yeah. Mm-hmm. that could not have you know what whatever scene you're watching that could have been so different like how it actually went down and then like the way it was aired could be two completely yeah. Yeah. different situations and like i just don't think you ever even realize what the show's gonna be like until you're in the middle of yeah. it. Yeah. And he didn't you didn't really get that. Yeah. 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 And you're like, and it's fully <laughs> thrown in. It's funny that you just said that because that just reminded me. I remember being so like obviously infatuated with you just for you, but I also just remember being so impressed with him because of that. I was like, I cannot because I remember days where like I was done. I was crying just because I was so tired. Like, you know, some nights we were up at three, four AM um, two hours of sleep, three hours of sleep, some nights, just exhausted. And I just remember thinking about you so much while we're filming. I'm like, I'm at least relaxing right now. I'm like crying about having to do ITMs and whatever. Mm-hmm. And Matt's like on a date right now yeah. and another date and then a group date and then a rose ceremony mm-hmm. and then all over again. So for you doing that for two months, never having done that before, that was like, I just was so impressed with him. I was like, wow, he's like, I could never do it. Yeah. Thanks, guys. Yeah. No, it, it, <laughs> I thought about feeling like that, though. Yeah. I, I just was thinking about you so much. I mean, it's all the research you did. Yeah. <laughs> That's gotta be it. But no, that, that probably taught you a lot about like what not to say. It's yeah. like, I probably shouldn't tell five girls that I love them. That's yeah. like, yeah. like Gary. For yeah. sure. <laughs> so honestly, though, you you really didn't make any like big mistakes like that in the season. Like well, no I mean, one, no one had anything to be like. He slept with all the women. He yeah. told people and he loved them. Like none of that. But that stuff seems like no brainer. So you know, it's like <laughs> you would think it's the the research. That's, <laughs> that's the research. It all goes back to the research. Being prepared. I I feel like y'all have been probably one of the more successful couples out of the show, which I feel like y'all had a hard time just at the very beginning. How did y'all 
y'all are now like almost four years together. How have y'all been able to block out the noise and really continue to just like focus on each other? I feel like, do you think it was because it was so hard at the beginning that it's like, if we can make it through that, we can make it through anything. I think that's how it felt for a while because I don't know about you. Like I always think how or where we'd be right now if like that whole situation was handled differently. Mm -hmm. Like if we weren't to have broken up, if we would have like pushed through that. But in a way, I'm thankful for it Mm -hmm. happening like that because it was such a hard, like a really, really hard situation. And I felt like you tried to move on. Like you were like, I'm going to try to not, you know, pursue pursue this relationship anymore. And I was like for like a good six weeks. And after the finale was aired, we were like, could it get any worse? It couldn't get any worse. And mm-hmm. then it did because mm-hmm. people, it seemed like one side was so mad about us being together. And then once it was aired that we weren't together, then this other side was even more angry that they were like, wow, all that for nothing, you know? Yeah. And then I think we both, I was always like, no, like, you know, let's not throw this away for other people that don't even know us. Yeah. And then I won't speak for you, but I feel like it almost seemed like a, all right, well, no one's happy, so why am I even trying Mm -hmm. to make all these people that don't even know me that are strangers happy? Like, what do I want? And I think going through that, it's just really helped us with other situations that come down the road. And for me, I actually feel like I'm like, we can work through Mm -hmm. anything at this point. We all kind of had to choose each other again. Mm -hmm. Yeah. In a way. (laughs) No, we did. And that was not easy. Totally. And, and in like the hardest circumstances, like you think choosing somebody on a TV show is hard, it's hard in a way. Mm -hmm. And then being like, ah, like all the pressure after it's obviously really tough, but how long were y'all separated? Like you said, like six Mm -hmm. weeks. Mm -hmm. So, so that was was a good, yeah, it was a good bit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But I think that also, I think what we're learning so much is like, you do have to choose somebody every day and i think it probably was a good thing that during that like chaotic time you just had some time to like really figure out what do you want and obviously yeah. you wanted to make this work and yeah i'm just so proud of y'all do y'all ever feel any pressures i'm not gonna ask y'all like oh, when are you getting engaged but do y'all <laughs> do you feel that uh, that pressure of engagement or marriage or like do you guys talk about it because i know like for even for us and we didn't even meet on the show yeah. it's, it was it's still intense just knowing when we're going to get married but Mm -hmm. how do you navigate that all right i think that like the easiest thing to do like rachel was saying earlier is to like live your relationship for the show and like for people who are like vested in it because like you know there's a positive reaction to like doing things that people want you to do so you just like continue to do those things Mm -hmm. Um, and then when it's something that they don't want you to do, then there's just like, like, what? Like, why aren't you doing what? what? And it's and then you had this realization like, whoa, like, is this my relationship or is this everyone else's yeah, relationship? Totally. And so like that being said, just like march into the beat of our own drum mm-hmm. um, and just living the lives that we want to live. Um, I I think we're both very, like at the end of the day, very simple people and what we want and how we want to live our lives. Mm -hmm. And um, I think people have their views of how life should go. And um, we've had the most success, you know, staying out of, uh, staying out of the way. Like Mm -hmm. just, just, I love to run. Mm -hmm. I love to eat. We love to travel. just like the basic things in a relationship that sound like so simple that like you lose sight of when you're doing things for other people and to like see like look what we're doing like is everyone happy like you I think the only thing that bothers me sometimes is like that people think they know our relationship so Mm -hmm. when people comment things like well, like they're not engaged yet, so something's wrong, or like just things like that. I mean, for or us, like, that we haven't. We, we get that all the time. 
Yeah. People like, always ask then, me like, "What have you done your wedding?" You, like, yeah, like your the wedding. Guess what? Like, Once you're married, then it's gonna be like kids. It's yes, like never. It's enough. always gonna yeah. be something. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, but good for y'all for just being able to like really come to that understanding because I don't think a lot of people. I mean, I think so many, especially reality TV stars that have that are in a relationship. It kind of feels like you always have to do something to have the support and the positivity. And I mean, even sometimes with like trying to plan the wedding I'm like oh do I need to like tell people that it's like make sure people know yeah. that like we're good and it's so dumb it's just like mm-hmm. do your own Dang. thing yeah. yeah and I think that is why y'all are still together and still enjoying each other's time and kind of just to take it away from just the show and everything but now I feel like y'all are always like on the go mm-hmm. traveling it always looks so fun always eating the best food <laughs> Um, you're running like 24 seven. So I'm interested (laughs) other than eating, which I definitely want to get into. What is like the thing that y'all enjoy the most doing together? Oh, you go first. Honestly, like I don't even want to make up like some cute answer. It's no joke sitting on the couch and like either not speaking (laughs) And enjoying each other's si- enjoying the silence. I love not because talking because it's. Guy. But like, I actually read this quote. I don't know where I even read this, but it was like, you know that you're with the right person when you can just sit there and not have to do anything, and you're enjoying it. Mm-hmm. Like when you're just enjoying just sitting next to each other. I and, agree. That's so true. And like, I truly do think like the thing that I enjoy the most other than like we do travel we do eat all this fun stuff but when we're not doing that I love just sitting on the couch with him like putting on a good movie or show that we're watching which is so annoying lately because he cannot stay awake for more than five minutes so we're starting a movie or show and it's it's a thing it's like taking us months to finish a show or a movie because years. you have to pause it yes so, yep. yeah because if you don't I can't. he's gonna get upset yeah i know i know these things yep yeah so that's the only bad thing about it but yeah i think that since we do travel so much and everything's just go 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 when we're paused and like when we're you know at my house just relaxing i and a lot of the time i'll like cook a meal And we'll literally eat it on the couch instead of like Mm. at the dinner table, which is probably not a good thing, but we love it. (laughs) Like we're like, all right, once like kids and stuff are in the picture, we'll have to have like a sit down meal. But for now, I literally ordered like breakfast and bed trays for us for the couch. We have them. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah, We have one. It's a bad habit. We have one and he uses this like... He loves this like one little tray, like it's it's called a cigar table. But mm-hmm. he like, yeah. he's like he's like this is my favorite thing we have in the house. I'm like yeah, you're it's kidding. perfect. <laughs> it, fit, it fits my plate perfectly on there, and it's like right? it's the perfect height when I'm sitting on the couch. Mm-hmm. I mean, that's my favorite so, item. That's what you, I know. You told me that multiple times. I'm like <laughs> yeah, out of everything we have in this house, this little table. If our house burns down, God forbid. I'm grabbing that little table. <laughs> that's the first thing. Sorry, after, after, I was after, just after about to say Wally, sorry, yeah, yeah. After I get Wally and Hannah out, that's the first thing I'm getting. <laughs> Literally, though. No. Yeah, so, I mean, we're this, I would say that's one of my favorite things. Like, what? I mean, our therapist would say watching a show together is probably not should be the thing we'd love to do, but it is so great to just be able to, like, be so comfortable yeah. with a person. I do think we definitely learned, which I think y'all do as well, like, have some, like, activities that you like to do together. Mm-hmm. But it is so nice to just be able to just, like, be with the yeah. person. But to that point, Hannah, like, <clears throat> like, what is that, like, what's that activity supposed to be, like, like, well, like we do activities. That's why yeah. I don't even feel bad. No, but I'm saying like when people Pickleball, are like, you, they do dance lessons. Yes. Yeah. Like, what, is it supposed to be like you're only connecting with that person when you're doing like that one thing? No, I think that just helps for people. Oh, okay. And I think for us, I, I actually want to know your thoughts on this. Mm-hmm. So I went through like a lot, like working out stuff. I had to like stop for a while and we start, I, he's obviously very athletic and always wants to be on the move and a lot of times he wanted our thing that we did together to be Mm. something physical Mm. which 
I just didn't want it to be like because yeah. I, I get competitive, but I don't want to be competitive. So then it feels that. like I'm like, come to jujitsu with me, please. And I'm like, <laughs> I don't want to because right. I'm going to get competitive because yep. you're way better than me. Yep. And so I don't want to do that. And so like we kept getting into these things that I'm like, mm-hmm. I don't want to do that. <laughs> <laughs> so Agreed. for us to find something that we both like could kind of meet in the middle with, yeah. he does like to dance, but doesn't know how to dance. And like for me, it's like this weird like. Ouch. <laughs> no, you didn't. Oh, yeah, I'm, lear- I'm learning. No, I, I know you were both beginning. Oh, well, you have <laughs> seen Matt's face. He's I was like, like, oh, no, cool. actually, last oh. night I told you, I'm like, as somebody who doesn't know how to dance, you're actually like really good at like picking it up and he adds rhythm and stuff. So yeah. I, I didn't say that the way I meant to. And for me, like, <laughs> I have like a trigger with dance. Like, obviously, yeah. I grew up dancing, but like to come and do something just fun, not mm-hmm. competitive, mm-hmm. has been so nice. So I think it has to be something like that where it's like, It could be doing puzzles. Yeah. So we're both very, very competitive too. Yeah. So I completely agree. Um, Whenever we play pickleball, even if we're on the same team, if one of us messes up, the other person's like, what was that? You know? (laughs) It's like we're like that. And then even like video games, we get really competitive. Um, Both my sister and brother love to play video games. So whenever, you know, we're at the house, we'll start playing and – even Mario if we're on party. the same, yeah, Ooh, like usually we're classic. on separate teams, which makes it even worse because yeah. he's so, he'll rub it in your face and everything. Like he likes to get me wound up. <laughs> for sure. So it makes it not fun for me. Yes. But then I still end up beating you most of the time. <laughs> that's why, uh, yeah. That's why whenever I have like a little moment, I have to relish in oh, it yeah. because it's taken very quickly. Yeah. So you're a big gamer. Yeah, I mean, like, when I can. Yeah. Yeah, I love it. Love You're not video just games. like every every morning, night, getting your headset on. <laughs> no, but that is, that is my sister and my brother. Do you have a gaming chair? My brother does. Oh, but I know I'm like, I'm like know. the switch. Like, I'm what? on the go. Now that I think about it, you come from a family of gamers. For sh- I started the gamers. I <laughs> was the one that like, like my, my dad even says it. He's like, he kind of blames me for it. He's like, because my brother is glued to it. He's in he it. Had, he built his own computer. Like, he's like one of those kind yeah. of you know and um <laughs> one of those no like so in it so in it from like shout out the to moment Grayson, he man. gets yeah. home yeah. Yeah. Shout, out Grayson. shout out but like he like wants to go to school for it and everything so i'm like that's awesome you do you yeah yes. he's like i want to be an engineer i'm like i love that you're turning your like passion into you know like a like really a great job yeah. yeah so honestly if it works out like that then my parents will be thanking me yes. but mm-hmm. no but my my sister is the same way like i got her playing video games and then my sister got my little brother so now we all do it but like i feel like it's gotten bigger and bigger as like the kid goes down yeah. like my sister's really big she's like on twitch now doing um she's obsessed with Fortnite now which is very new and i'm like that is so, so i'm not a fort wild. like i'm just watching her right now yeah but yeah and then my little brother's the same way and i'm like this is so funny we're kind of all just a bunch of nerds like watching like superhero movies and gaming pretty much yeah i would have not expected that from you because mm-hmm. i've like at you looking obviously you're gorgeous and now i think just like fashion girly like all <laughs> yeah, about you're, the, you're like a cool girl yeah like you're a cool girl but you're actually <laughs> yeah. a little bit of I'm a nerd yeah, yeah. Cool. Awesome. sure mm-hmm. well and that's i think going back not to go back to the show but that's kind of how i felt where it's like i feel like i don't fit this yeah like box and i don't want them to like turn me into some weirdo if they start like if we start <laughs> talking about something you know i don't know i was like i don't know <laughs> but that's like what i was worried about half the time that is so Sorry. funny so mm-hmm. would, would you say that was the thing that we, I'm going like way backtracking. No, you're good. <clears throat> but I asked um, both of you about like what was the thing that was like really surprising to find out about the person. Like mm-hmm. once you actually were with them, would that be the thing? Yeah, that, like like when we would watch, I, I legitimately thought I loved Marvel. Like I, I didn't miss a movie. Like I could name most of the characters. She takes it to a whole nother level. <laughs> <laughs> like the backstory. Like, I'm like explaining things to him while we're watching things wow. now. You, you, we probably knows the planets of the like it's <laughs> like on another level. And like, like I could watch a movie and I'll be good on it for like six months a year. Like Rachel can watch a movie and then watch it again and again. Mm-hmm. You're a movie repeater. For I'm really sure. not. I only am. like Disney movies, which is weird. That's that's well, the, that's yeah. Okay. Well, and we'll put on like yeah, we're the same way with like Pixar and stuff. We can watch. Well, I won't speak for him, but like, I think I'm a repeater because it's comforting. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm more of a show repeater. 
movies i can i show repeater oh, See, that's a different, that's a different level. level i feel yeah like. show I repeater that, i can like watch oh. and, and it's because i don't even like i still giggle at things but i just like i'm past the show point i just genuinely enjoy watching them act like i think that's what it is for me and i'm usually the show's on while i'm doing something mm -hmm. so i don't have to be paying attention to it so i can't ever put a show on that i'm actually watching for the first time because i'll miss something because like when i'm watching a new show or a movie i'm locked in phone <laughs> down like really want to like experience it some people don't care i, I am a psycho when it <laughs> comes to a new show on oh you are like <laughs> Don't talk to me. I am late. You could be You're talking to in. me, yeah. but I'm not listening. Mm -hmm. The house could truly be burning down, and I am so in it. I get mad when people miss things or like yeah. things like, that I'm not that? listening. Yeah. I'm like, yeah. I know exactly what just happened. Don't yeah, even yeah. do this to me. Uh -huh. I'm the like, same way, bro. Yeah, yeah. I but I love. I I like. I'm kind of embarrassed about this, but I love movies and TV so much. No, me too. Same. I just love it. Like it's the best. It's it's entertaining. Obviously, yeah. I love it. But I, I just take it a step further and I just genuinely <laughs> enjoy watching. Like, I think that's half the reason I love Friends so much because they filmed it in front of a live audience. Yeah. And just seeing them, it's like a play. They put on a play every single night and it's just impressive to me. And like their chemistry and everything, it's just, I just love it. And like, even like, I love animated stuff too. But from like an artistic point, I'm like, wow, the way that they animated that was crazy. You yeah. know, just like everything like that. Have I you just seen Elemental? It. Yes, we love it. Love Isn't Elemental. it so good. good? So cute. Elemental is fantastic. It's so good. I watched the backstory thing on, on yeah. it. And I was like, this is so great. Yeah. It's just impressive. Like sometimes it makes me feel bad because I'm like, wow, there are some people out there that do some really crazy so things creative. that yeah. are so creative. So like, creative. Come on. Where I mean, we watched yeah. Toy Story last night, so Ooh. that's kind of so good. classic. You need yeah, to watch. We were talking about Toy Story earlier because mm -hmm. we just we went to Disney and oh, yeah. went to uh, Woody's Lunchbox <laughs> at uh, Hollywood Studios. Wait, how was wow. the food? Phenomenal, mm -hmm. amazing. Yeah. So Grilled I'm cheese. thinking for my thirtieth, I want to go to Disney. We're in. totally. Yes. Can we invite ourselves? No, I was about to say, please for come. Sure. This is I the want, official invite. Right? This I'm is a the huge official invite. I want to do like. I want to do it all. Like, yeah. go, we're going hard for the 30th. I love it. Actually, I'm going to get a stomach ache <laughs> the entire day. <laughs> yeah. No, we'll be, your, she, we'll be your food guide. Well, no, no. You know, what's, you know what's funny? Hannah is the one who put me on to the Disney guide. Yes. Oh, my God. And that's what really? I'm talking about. So yes. you go from ride to ride. You don't have to yeah. stay in lines. Like I don't oh. like it because. What? Oh, because you get, miss things? Because, no, because of motion what? sickness. I go on one oh. ride and then I'm like, I can't, I can't get back to like base level anymore because you're going from one ride to the next <laughs> that but is funny I told you're kind of the same way low key but we so we can go you're laughing because I'll get back you know. to back me too i'm good well no like but we'll i go. want the guy we'll that tells on. me where all the hidden mickeys is like i want Aww. all the yeah i want all the information See, we haven't done that yet and i would love that because okay, there's but, so what, the guided tour the hidden mickeys all around the park that you don't even realize are like right there they like didn't everything tell you no okay well we were in disneyland and in land they were telling us but yeah, we didn't do world yet. Okay, well, I haven't done world with a guy, but that's what we're doing. Yeah. Yeah, we haven't done world. No. So oh, you, that need would to, be... you need to mark it in your calendar. Okay. We'll, we'll talk more about this, but yeah. he keeps trying to find me, wants me, he keeps trying to I'm like, like urge me to do something California? else. And I'm like, no, <laughs> we're doing Disney. I love it. Are yes. you a Disney adult? Okay, I teetered the line. Like, me too. I don't, I don't know all the weird things. Wait, what or, does that mean? Teetered, a Disney adult is like, if we had like, Disney figurines in our house oh, and like every vacation every vacation we went to Disney no every no. month yeah. no we're not like that like I don't know all the like all the characters yeah but I would love to meet someone like yo that. I was gonna say Disney adults are Next so level. cool they're cool I, I met them I don't know if cool I, I don't know if I would describe as cool they're I I'll they're interesting interesting, <laughs> <laughs> interesting. <laughs> yeah they're yeah I guess interesting I thought they were pretty cool the ones we met well it, they were. They are cool because yeah. they know they're so cool in their much. Own way. Everything. Yeah. They, they're yeah. historians. They're, they're yeah. his, historians. Disney, historians. There you Disney go. Historians. And if you yeah. know something I don't know, I'm just like, wow. wow. Yeah. Yeah. Every time I learn, I'm like, yeah, these people. They're yeah. So no, cool. they're in it. Like yeah. you're right. They know everything. They. It, is there a threshold that that kind of puts you over the edge to be a Disney adult? That's a great question. I would say I'm on on the line with you. Yeah. Like how yeah, many figurines? Like, I think if you're if you're. If Five? you're collecting them, yeah. Oh, okay. well, or if you have like- Do you have the lanyard? 
<laughs> say the land. Okay, do land, you have you're, the land. No, I don't. Okay, I don't. I don't. But I always love to get some ears. When I I'm always there. get. I have. I'm like I have getting a little ears. ear collection. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Disney. Adults. Yeah. So we're. <laughs> mm, yep. Disney adults. Yes. You guys we're qualify. <laughs> um, okay, I kind of want to go. Um, kind of change gears of just what y'all both got going on because, mm-hmm. um, you're like fitness food i feel like you are just like how do you guys stay looking so good (laughs) and eat so much food i'll say this because i think people think it's like 50 50. we'll order like four plates of food and i'll have one and matt will have three so it's like i feel like i'm eating normal i think i don't know people always are like no you can eat but like i (laughs) you're like she can eat she can eat but like not like him he i don't know what but like he's running so much weight eating with him yeah. oh yeah that was a bad influence i thought you were about to say you. watching you no eat. like when i was like when we ate together i was also in a bad mental state <laughs> eating your feelings yeah, eating my feelings but I'm like, like come on hannah let's go get some food I'm like, she's like on it. all right yeah <laughs> let's go get some ice cream and i gained so much weight just eating with him for like a few weeks mm-hmm. i don't know how you do it no i think i mean i needed to gain some weight after the show like yeah. I like needed to. Mm-hmm. So for a while there, it was fine. Yeah. And now I've like had to learn like, okay, I'm full. Cause like for a while there, I just would eat, eat, eat. And to where I would like almost be sick from how full I was. Yeah. Or I just didn't have any self-control. And now I like just try to listen to myself. And I'm like, if I have that bite, I might throw up, you know? <laughs> we push so, it to there then. Yeah. I love that. Yeah. yeah. And then, but he, everything. Like yeah. leftovers are rarely a thing. He's I mean, you, cleaning all the plates. You guys are both definitely blessed with metabolism. And yeah, like I would body say mostly for me it's genetics. Yeah. But like you too. But he's also but, running like 20 miles someday. Yeah. So he can yeah. eat whatever he wants, you know. Yeah, what's the goal for all this? Like, the because you're doing a lot of different <clears throat> videos, going to different places, trying different food. You're also doing a lot with like the running community. What's kind of the goal for you in all that? Like we were like, they should have like a, a restaurant or obviously like a TV show of some sort. Like, is that something that you think of or in the works? Are you familiar with um, King Curtis? <laughs> you, you don't know. You Do you not know this? Uh, no. Oh, wow. Like, I'm obsessed with King Curtis. Like, you, Are you serious? <laughs> obsessed. Like, I quote, like my, uh, go, if you went back and watched my season when I was a bachelorette, I quote King <laughs> she, Curtis. You're lying. On, like multiple times. The whole chicken nugget gate was yes. because of King Curtis. Me being like, Chicken nuggets are my family. <laughs> Do you I not know that? I did not know that. I don't know. Where are you going with this? I was going to say, <laughs> I was going to pull, I was pulling in a King Curtis mantra. <laughs> okay, we'll go. <laughs> I was pulling in. I love that. Oh my yeah. gosh. You and know what? And they're Curtis? the sorry people. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we say that all the time. She, she thinks, thinks she's, she's the, the queen, queen and, and we're, we're the sorry people. people. <laughs> yeah, we both she that thinks all she can time. get away in them little high heels. <laughs> <laughs> Love King Curtis, and and I, he is from North Carolina, so we have to shout oh, yeah. out to North Carolina. Yeah, he, is, yeah. he is a North Carolinian. But what I was gonna say is, remember when he says, um, I forget the what was posed to him. There's a question that was posed to him, and he said something about having fun. I forget, I yeah. forget what it was exactly. <laughs> yeah, I know. But, but, so basically, yeah. that's his answer. Yeah, having just like fun. I was just having fun. Like I, I've I'm done with like trying to like, you know, check boxes off and like. Like if, 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 if like an opportunity comes. Yeah. But I just, I just want to do things that make me happy. And yeah. when you do those things, then opportunities present themselves. Mm, that is um, so, so true. I'm learning that right yeah. now. Yeah. So I love to run and I've gotten, I'm so fortunate and blessed to work with Lululemon and do a lot, a bunch of fun running campaigns and contests with them. Mm-hmm. And then, I mean, it's no secret that I love food. I'm a very adventurous eater and we get to do a bunch of things centered around food as well. So yeah. it's like, if, I'm sure if I was passionate about, you know, bananas, we might have a banana tree or farm. I don't know. But Matt, you don't understand that is like such a, actually a, a hard for a lot of people, including myself to like, first of all, just like know your passions. Mm-hmm. Like, I don't really like, that's a big struggle of mine. Like, what am I actually passionate about? Cause sometimes I've just leaned into things that make you I, happy, but, but are not even just yeah. like what I think I'm supposed to do yeah. or what I was told that I would be good at. Mm-hmm. And that's not a very fulfilling life. Like, I think that's one thing I hope people like really listen to, like quote King Curtis, but like, just like having fun. <laughs> Full <laughs> circle no, moment. No, we, Matt and I were talking about this on the way over here. And, you know, 
me and you have kind of been like really trying to hone in on our purpose and what we're passionate about. But there's a, there's a fine line because you can you can follow passions, get sucked into it, and then it becomes less of a passion. Yeah. It becomes a job. Yeah. Right? So it's like you have teetered that line. It seems like yeah. Mm -hmm. So you know, finding something you're passionate about, but still making sure that it stays fun is yep. is a balancing act that I think is hard for a lot of people. To and do. I think the key thing is finding something that you're passionate about, yep. like you mm -hmm. and you and you and me and everyone else out there because like you, we went to we all went to great schools we got degrees and for me personally I thought that the end all be all was going to work in finance mm -hmm. and I thought that because everyone else was telling me that yeah. you and me both you know what I mean yeah. mm -hmm. and then when I got there and I moved to New York and I was working in you know commercial real estate and finance I loved eating and I just like that oh, was like food tours I met around. with one of my friend's dads is a CEO of a big bank in in, um, in New York, one of the biggest banks in the city. <clears throat> and he's like trying to help me figure out like my path. And he's like, All right, I want you to write down three things. I could pull up this email. It's actually crazy. I've never thought about this to this moment. He's like, I want you to write three things that you're passionate about. I wrote food. This is like, this is 10 years ago. I wrote food, fitness, and kids. And like that, somehow found its way of like 10 years later like those are the things that are like the biggest parts of my life are like those three elements when i was talking to him about like trying to get more integrated into finance and make all this money mm. like there was just a it, it wasn't my passion mm. is basically this is and the things that i was passionate about full circle so like when whenever people i talk to people about that they're like scared to pursue something that they're passionate about it's mm -hmm. like that's when like you're gonna find the most opportunity because when you do something you don't like, you don't you do it haphazardly. Mm -hmm. you know? That that's where I got. So I I always go back to the way that I would explain what I did to people. So when somebody asked me what I did, I would shell up. I would I, mm -hmm. I would close everything down and would try to get away from that answer as quickly as possible. Yeah. So like, wow. what do you do, Adam? I'd be like, I'm in banking. And then I would, I would change yeah. the subject. Dang. And that was, that was something I, I've struggled with literally my entire like working career. Yeah. Mm. Um, and just now I'm getting into a health and wellness space that I'm truly passionate about. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I love talking about, That's awesome. and it's changed everything. It's, it's opening up doors. I just feel better. Mm -hmm. I feel healthier. I feel like we are better as a couple mm -hmm. and it's just a less stressful way to live. Yeah. Totally. Um, more passion and totally. I mean, that's, that's something that i think we should all try for yeah we're like running out of time but i want rachel what you i i saw on your instagram you're doing something with this together, together. yes can you tell me more about that because i looked on the instagram and it looks really freaking cool you're the creative yeah. director so one of my friends actually founded it a few years ago and their whole it's it's like you know changed a lot over the mm -hmm. last few years where they or where we're wanting to go with it but it really started out as just like wanting to be this like safe space because the internet is so not mm -hmm. as of late like it could be but i feel like people kind of ruin it so for a while we were just trying to make it this like blog space um or just like a feel good space because sometimes i feel like you get on instagram and things like that and you you log off like feeling worse or yeah when you know yeah, like, 1, and, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. you're like yeah. oh why yeah. am i not there why am i not doing sure. this why don't i look like that whatever it is yep. and especially for like young girls it's really toxic and so that is kind of how it started and then we turn it into like there's still that space like we still host events for that space to be held um but we also have turned it into like you know consumerism is crazy right now i mean i'm a part of it being like an influencer mm -hmm. or whatever but i think that you get so lost in all of these products and brands and everything like that totally. and it's like it's just a lot now and so we were like all right well people love like an amazon or this or that whatever it is wherever you shop um and it gets overwhelming when you start trying to look for clean products or environmentally friendly products or brands. 
um, or like ethically sourced brands and products. And so we were like, let's just make one website where you can find all of that. Mm -hmm. So when, whenever you get there, you know that, you know, the brand cares about more than just like the paycheck at the end of the day or money. Like there's so many brands out there that are just cash grabs. They don't really care about their totally. consumers. Yeah. And so I think that's the goal. Like there's not one like checklist that every brand like needs to check all of this stuff off. But we just, you know, have a lot of meetings with them. We get to know like the founders and the people for who they are and like what they actually care about. And if it's something that we think is a good fit, if we like the product, if we think it it does check the few boxes that we do care about, then, you know, we're happy to have their products on our site. But it's basically just like a one-stop shop, like, you I know, love that. all different things. Um, and yeah, we've been like hosting, I haven't been able to go yet, but we've been doing little pop-ups and things like that in New York, which has been really cool. But um, yeah, I really just joined on because I feel like I loved the idea so much and I love the people that founded it. Um, and I just wanted to help them. Mm -hmm. And I felt like I had a platform to do that, that they were like struggling to find. So I, yeah, I jumped on the team and here it we are. I will. I think it's also kind of how you said, like we're we're in this world. You're you're doing the influencing stuff, mm -hmm. but like, how do you make that more in alignment to your values mm -hmm. and what you're yeah. passionate yeah. about? And I think it can be so easy in just the environment of selling things, promoting different things, to kind of get lost in that. But that you have also found a way to like really hone in of what's important to you and found that path and made that for yourself in a mm -hmm. way is really awesome. Thanks. So yeah, it's exciting. I'm so, this was so fun. <laughs> From was. farts to King Curtis, to talk about our fashion. <laughs> I feel like we could stay here for two more hours. I, so. I totally could, mm -hmm. so. I'm just glad we have dinner tonight. Yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah, I I know. So, so we can continue this, we can continue planning our Disney trips. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thank y'all so much. Thank, Thank you. For you. Us. So fun. Thank you guys so much for listening to the episode. Better Tomorrow is produced by me, Hannah Brown, and Legos Creative. Our show is recorded, engineered, and edited by the Legos Creative team. Remember to follow Better Tomorrow wherever you get your podcast so you don't miss the next episode. And don't forget to rate and review us on Apple Podcasts. It really helps and shows your support. You can follow me on socials at Hannah Brown and you can stay updated on all things Better Tomorrow on our Instagram at Better Tomorrow and our TikTok Better Tomorrow podcast.